Hi, today we are going to learn how to insert and remove a copper T380A. Let's understand what are the various parts of copper T and what all comes in a packet of copper T. It contains an insertion rod or plunger. This is an insertion tube on which there is a guard. Copper T is inside this insertion tube. A copper T has two arms and a stem. For all contraceptive counseling, we use the gather approach in which we greet the patient, introduce ourselves, ask her name, establish a rapport, take obstetric history, menstrual history, rule out any pregnancy and menstrual irregularities, any medical and surgical history. We're going to tell her about the other contraceptives available and explain the benefits of each. This is known as cafeteria approach. We're going to help her choose a contraceptive. We're going to explain her how the method is used, what is to be expected, what are the common side effects and when to return for follow up. Once we are sure that the patient wants to go ahead with copper tea insertion, we are going to examine the patient, check for pallor, pulse, BP, general examination, for abdomen and bimanual examination and rule out there are no contraindications to copper tea insertion. We are going to explain the procedure to the woman, ask her if she has any questions and we are going to answer all her queries. We are going to ask the woman to pass urine and take her to a private room for copper tea insertion. We are going to ensure that all equipment is there. We have a copper tea and we have an assistant. We are going to need a sponge holder, a bowl with cotton balls and antiseptic solution, Sims vaginal wall retractor, anterior vaginal wall retractor, Valsalam, uterine sound and scissors. We are going to ask the woman to lie in dorsal position with knees flexed. We are going to cover her thighs. We wash our hands and wear sterile gloves. Do an abdominal examination and bimanual examination if it has not already been done. Now we are going to gently insert sim speculum and anterior vaginal wall retractor. We are going to clean the cervix and vagina with antiseptic solution and catch hold of the cervix using a valsalam. Now we are going to measure the uterocervical length using a uterine sound. The uterine sound is graduated to make the measurement easier. We insert the uterine sound in the uterine cavity till we feel a slight resistance. This is the uterocervical length. Now we load the copper tea or ask our assistant to load a copper tea for us. Open the copper tea packet halfway. While stabilizing the arms of copper tea with left hand, we'll push the insertion tube so that the arms of copper tea will approximate. Now we retract or pull the insertion tube and insert the arms of copper tea inside this tube. We now put the plunger or the rod in the insertion tube till it touches the base of the stem of our copper tea. Still keeping the copper tea in the packet, we are going to adjust the guard or the flange according to our measured uterocervical length. Now we are going to take the copper tea and insert it inside the cervical loss till the flange touches the cervix. At this time, the copper tea is just touching the fundus. Now for releasing the arms of copper tea, we have to use the withdrawal method in which we are going to retract or pull back our insertion tube without moving the rod. Now the rod or the plunger is removed to avoid entanglement with the copper tea threads. The insertion tube is pushed up gently till a slight resistance is felt to ensure that the copper tea is placed at funders. The tube is then withdrawn and copper tea threads are cut at 2 cm beyond the cervical loss. We then remove the valsalam and the speculum and ask the woman to get up and get dressed. We put the instruments in disinfectant solution and dispose of the waste in appropriate colored bins, wash our hands, document the date of insertion and other findings on the OPD card and give the woman instructions for follow up. For removal of copper tea, the removal of copper tea is much simpler. 
all you have to do is insert the speculum and an anterior vaginal wall retractor and visualize the threads take an artery forceps and pull the thread and the cavity is going to come out of the cavity ensure that the cavity is intact with both his arms and stem and show it to the patient and document your findings thank you